The island of Spinalonia is located in the Gulf of Felunda in northeastern Crete. Originally, it was a peninsula. During Venetian occupation, the island was carved out of the coast for defense purposes and a fort was built there. Crete was captured by Ottoman Turks in 1649. However, Venetian kept Spinalonia for another 65 years. In 1898, at the end of the Turkish occupation, the island, together with the fort, was the refuge of many Ottoman families that feared Christian repuzzles. After the independence of Crete, leprosy has become more and more endemic. The patients were first treated in Meschina near Tiraklion. However, proper treatment was symptomatic only and to prevent the spread of infection, patients were completely isolated from their surroundings. Due to the pressure of the neighborhood residents and to drive the Turks out from the island, the Greek government decided to transfer the lepers to Spinalonia. The first group of 251 patients with leprosy was deported to the 4th of 13th of October in 1904. Their number rose to 400 by 1935. The government covered their expense. They receive monthly allowance as well as in return for accepting their isolation. Patients were not allowed to leave the island and they had to live as living dead in crumbling buildings. Nobody could visit them. Many families were broken up thus. Since leprosy was considered a stigma, the healthy members of many families left the patients behind and settled down far away from Spinalonia. But several patients sent their allowance home by transporters to support those who remained at home. Letters and other mail could leave the island only after being sterilized and sealed. Tragic and romantic stories had been woven in the island, just as Victoria Hislop wrote in her book The Island. Not only leprosy patients, but also politically undesirable individuals were banished to the island. The Leprosium was closed in 1957. Hundreds of skeletons are still buried in unmarked graves, preserving past tragedy while reminding of the horrors man is capable of. Nowadays, the unspoiled, dilapidated, moss-covered stones are visited by tourists. After ending the trade with leprosy patients, the people of Elunda continue to live on the memory of Spilalonia. <laughs>